This is a song called Your Face by the band Wisp. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Let us begin. Two, three, four. Let it, this is so much fun. Standard tuning, no capo. It's so much fun. What a blast and a pleasure. Let's learn the intro. First thing you need to do is have the top string open. Then you're going to have your middle finger on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. Pointer finger on the sixth fret of the third string from the top. And then put your ring finger on the eighth fret of the third string from the bottom. Guys, this is an E major seven chord. Some folks out there might tell you to do it like this. This sounds great. Not how they do it in the song, though, guys. It's like this. Okay, just wanted to say that. Um, what, what we have to do on this chord is we're gonna we're gonna try not to hit the bottom two strings. If you hit them, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But aim for the top four, and you're gonna do this strumming. You're gonna go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Hey, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Immediately after that, you're gonna play down, up, down, up, down, down again with no hesitation, no surrender. Let's play what we have so far nice and slow. Two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Great job. And then you're gonna go down, up, down, up again. But then, then, before you play down, down again, you're gonna take your pinky and you're gonna stretch it up to the ninth fret on the top string. I know it's crazy, but you can do it, I promise. And you're gonna strum down, down, down. So now, from the beginning, we have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, pinky, pinky, pinky. One, two, Play it with me, guys. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, pinky, pinky, pinky. We're gonna do that two times, and that is the first part of the introduction to the song, guys. After that, we're gonna do it two more times, but with heavy distortion, we can play louder, and that is the second half of the introduction. Let's, for practicing's sake, let's play the entire introduction all the way through, which, mean, which means we're going to play that part twice, dos, Spanish for two, surprised you didn't know that, softly. Don't wake up the, the, your parents and your little brother and your little sister and your dog and all and throughout the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. It is approaching Christmas time, so that was appropriate. Um, and then we're going to do it twice loudly. One, two, three, four. Get loud. Let's get loud. One, two, here we go. Again. Such a good job, you guys. I'm really proud of you for completing the introduction to the song Your Face by Wisp. At this point in time, I'm just gonna say that if you subscribe to this channel, it would make me the happiest boy in all the land. Also, uh, I don't want anything for Christmas. It is now time for us to play the verse to the song, but I'm gonna tell you that like most of, like this kind of band, the one that's all atmospheric and noisy and shoegazy, that kind of band often has multiple guitars playing like just like little ambient cool noises. Like one guitar will go,
sounds great, but when we're just trying to like sit down and play the song, it makes it a little bit difficult. So what I have done is I have made a compendium, uh, an index of the greatest parts and merged them together into one cohesive guitar part. Um, so for the verse, there's definitely one guitar just strumming and one guitar doing some bendy stuff. We're kind of going to do a little bit of both. I think you're going to be quite happy with it, guys. Here's what I like to do for the verse. One, two, three, four. <laughs> got some stretchy chords you can handle it guys we go back to that first chord we did at the very beginning and I just go like this I go starting from the top string I just go top second third fourth from the top just bing ba, ba, ba. then I play the top string again and then I jump back down to the third string from the bottom and I bend that note I just bend it and then bring it back so it's one two three four top wiggle stick I don't know why I call it wiggle stick. That was weird. One, two, here we go. Then what's going to happen is pretty quickly, this uh, I already said there's an E major seven chord, so there you go. Then we go to this guy. This is like a G sharp add nine, G sharp sus two, G sharp sus two. Guys, pointer finger fourth fret on the top string, middle finger sixth fret second string from the top, then your pinky stretches up to eight. On the third string from the top, what I like to do is I play top string, second from the top, third from the top. Then I'm going to take my pointer finger. I'm going to jump down to the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom, and I play that note. So that was bum good to bow. Shoot, darn, I messed up a little bit. That's the minor third we just added. So even though I said this was a G sharp sus two, it sort of turns into a G sharp minor, guys. Then after that, we go to a C sharp sus two that is going to turn into a C sharp minor. Pointer finger, fourth fret, second string from the top, middle finger, sixth fret, third string from the top, pinky, eighth fret, third string from the bottom. I should mention with these chords, these big stretchy sus two chords, guys, if your thumb is over the top, you're not going to be able to do it. So you have to bring your thumb. I haven't done this in a while. Bring your thumb down like that. Bring your thumb down like that when you play these chords. Like my thumb switches. When I'm playing this, my thumb's up here. But then when I look, boom, thumb goes down there. And then it just comes right back up for this chord. Just saying, your thumb plays a key role in the playing of these stretchy chords. You got your C sharp sus two chord, guys. You're going to go like this. You play second string from the top, third string from the top fourth string from the top, then your pointer finger is going to leave its post and go down to the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. And then I go back up and play third string from the bottom. So that was... Hey! Great job. Okay, so I do that once. Then I just play the first three notes and let it sit like that. So it was boom, goody, bang, bong, hey, bonky, bow. There we did it. That is what we play for the verse. We play that two times in a row. Let's do it one time very slowly right now because I know we need some practice on those stretchy chords. Get the first chord ready to go. I'll give you some time. Do you have it? Great. One, two, here we go. Wiggle stick. Okay, then the C sharp. Oh. Surprise, we're doing it again. Here we go. All right. Then we get to the chorus of, no, pre-chorus. The pre, very short little pre-chorus interlude, guys. That's where we go like this. Is easy so easy guys play nine on the third string from the bottom then play nine on the third string from the top then play eight eight on the third string from the bottom then on the third string from the top you're gonna play six four six so that was nine nine eight six 
six, four, six. Play it with me, and a one, two, here we go. One more time, and karate chop, watch me flow. All right, we've completed the, the intro, the verse, and now the pre-chorus instrumental interlude which takes us to the chorus of the song wisp by your face strike that reverse it you get nothing i said good day sir what's going to happen now is you go back to that e major seven chord that we've been doing this whole time we're going to go back to the strumming we did at the beginning where we went down 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 up down up down down remember that guys uh here's what you're gonna do you're gonna go down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, just like we did during the intro. But then instead of putting your pinky right here, we're gonna go like this. So what I did there is I did pointer finger nine on top, ring finger 11 on the second string from the top, then back to pointer finger nine on the top, and then we're gonna go to this guy, remember this guy, our G sharp minor sus two chord thing. It was the one that was four on top, then middle finger on six, pinky on eight. Keep your thumb way down low over here. Here's what I would like to do. I would like to go down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, nine, 11, nine, one strum of this chord for now. Are you ready for it? One, two, very slowly, down, down, Guys, once we make it to this chord, we're gonna do the same down, 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 up, down, up, down, down strumming. So we're going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Then we get to my personal favorite part of the song to play, which goes like this. I don't know why I like it so much. It's very fun to play, guys. Please play nine on the second string from the top. Play 11 on the third string from the top. And then with your pointer finger, play nine on the second string from the bottom. So that was bong, bing, bang. Um, that's the first chunk of the chorus. Let's play it all the way through. One, two. You know what to do, guys. Down, down. Also in that part, I pluck down, down, up. Makes it a little bit easier and you get to do this big dramatic thing like that. Make the face that I made go. And then at this point in time, we have to start that the whole thing over. So immediately after this, we have to go back to this chord. Here's the thing. While with enough practice and perseverance and integration in, in relations shut up god why do i try to just add more words when there's no reason we eventually we can make that transition very quickly but regardless it takes a non-zero amount of time to go from here to here and we need to do it very quickly there's a little trick that you can do guys instead of getting to this chord right away to start it over for the first strum you can just play the top string open so it's like boom Then you're ready for the next strum. Does that make sense? Uh, let's do this. Let's take it from here. We're gonna go. So you can practice playing the top string and then getting the chord immediately afterwards. One, two, three. Oh, hey, how does it go again? Two, three, four. Uh. go i kind of sprung it on you kind of quickly i don't know so anyway so we play that part twice but the second time through we changed the ending of it a little bit so you know the first time through we did that bow, bow, bow. 
The second time through, instead of doing that, we're gonna go like this. So this right here is a really cool B5 over F sharp. Your pointer finger smashes down on two of the top two strings. Then your ring finger plays four on the third string from the top and your pinky plays four on the third string from the bottom. It's like a hyper power chord and you just strum down, down, down. So that was uh, from here you go. And that takes us to the second half of the chorus. Are you ready to begin the second half of the chorus? It goes like this, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so we go to this really cool A chord, guys. Top string you need to mute with your thumb. Second string from the top is open. Pointer finger plays two on the third string from the top. Ring finger plays four on the third string from the bottom. And your pinky plays four on the second string from the bottom. This right here is what I like to call an A sus two sharp 11. <laughs> Very cool chord. You're gonna strum down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. How'd you do? Play with me once, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna play this tiny little baby little E chord. It's just top string is open, then second fret and second fret on the next two strings. I'm just mashing down with my pointer finger. You're gonna play just the top, aim for the top two strings and go down, down. Then you're gonna mute all the strings. So you just touch all the strings very lightly. Don't push, just touch and go down, up. So that's down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, and bow, bow, chukka. As you're going chukka, you're gonna bring your hand up to go back to that first chord, the E major seven chord, and go down. So it's like, You go back to the cool A chord. You go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down again. Then uh, you're gonna go to our C sharp sus two. That's pointer finger on four of the second string from the top. Middle finger six, third string from the top. Pinky eight, third string from the bottom. Down, down. Then you're gonna mute all the strings. You can kind of do it with just your ring finger and then you don't have to move your other fingers too much, but it doesn't really matter. You just wanna relax your fingers and go chukka again and then one big strum of this. So that was bow, bow, chukka, bow. Okay, guys, we have completed the chorus to the song. Can we play the whole chorus all the way through? We don't even remember the beginning. It's fine, you're gonna get it. One, two, here we go. We did perfectly fine. After the chorus is completed, we play uh, the like a brief little interlude. It's just the intro again. Remember the intro where we go? Yeah, we just do that again. Um, then we go to the second verse. Second verse, literally exactly the same as the first verse. Then we get to our brief little instrumental interlude pre-chorus, this thing for a second time, but the second time it's extended. It's a little bit longer. The first part is exactly the same. You go nine, nine, eight, six, four, six. But then after that, you're gonna play the top string open, and then you're gonna strum this chord. It's very similar to the first chord in the song, 
but just a little bit different. It's middle finger seven, second string from the top, pointer finger six, third string from the top, pinky plays eight on the third string from the bottom, and then your ring finger plays seven on the second string from the bottom. Guys, you're gonna strum just those middle four strings very gently. Then after that, you're gonna lift up your ring finger and strum the same chord, but with the open B string. Guys, that is the second interlude. Let us play it. One, two, here we go. Nine, nine, eight, six, four, six. Top string, chord, second chord. Great job. Then we get into the second chorus, literally exactly the same as the first chorus. Then we go into the ending. The ending is what I like to call a tag ending. There's no reason to put quotes on that. That's what it's called. Um, what Basically what a tag means is you take the last little part and you repeat it a couple times. So you know how in the chorus we ended it with our cool A chord? We went... <laughs> Up. But you you remember the part. Um, that thing there, we did it once in the first chorus. In this one, we're going to play it three times. So two additional times. And we end the song by going... <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. We can do a full run through of the song. But if I mess up, I'm not going to start over, okay? One, two, one, two, here we go. Start the chorus again. Two, three, four.
two more times, guys. I feel like you did something wrong. Shumbanga. Maybe it only does the tag once because that felt like a really long ending. I'm gonna go and check and then I'll report right back and it'll be a really nice anticlimactic ending to the video. Yeah, so you only do that part one extra time, not two. So I was completely wrong and I'm really proud of myself and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.